What is going on you wonderful people? My name is Jay and today we've got a special trip to go on. Now before we get into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the little notification bell. That way you guys will receive all the channel notifications and you can keep up to date with all the latest videos. But now that's out of the way, let's get into the video. So this is going to be the first vaping vlog on the channel since we've moved to vaping content and I really do hope you guys enjoy it. We're in for an absolute treat this vlog. Now we've got two places that we're going to be visiting today and the first place is Phoenix's flagship store in Peterborough. I love going to this store because of oh, the way it's laid out, the service, the, just everything about it is amazing. And they're about to have a refurb. So they want me to go up and film that before it happens and they also want to film it when it's finished so you can see a before and after. And secondly, I've been told that we can go around the 2.5 million pounds e-liquid lab that we have at head office, which is also in Peterborough. And I honestly can't wait. Like, I want to be able to show you guys how Phoenix and EL Science make the cleanest and safest e-liquids in the country, if not the world. And having a 2.5 million pound science lab is just, it blows my mind. But I've currently got a lot of equipment that I need to get in the car. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to take our trip to Peterborough. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, today's video is sponsored by Phoenix and EL Science. So while I travel to Peterborough, here's a few words from our video sponsor. Thank you to EL Science and Phoenix Vapors for sponsoring today's video. EL Science is one of the world's leading e-liquid manufacturers, and the EL Science team is committed to producing the safest and highest quality e-liquid possible across the UK and Europe raising standards across the entire industry and leading by example. EL Science enables other e-liquid manufacturers to produce their e-liquid in a more professional and regulated manner. By ensuring transparency and conforming to rigorous standards, they are dedicated to improving the quality of e-liquid across the UK. Each member of the EL Science team is passionate about the public health benefits surrounding electronic cigarettes and their potential to help smokers quit. Our team combines vast experience with highly specialized knowledge to bring you the best quality products and services. So, after two hours of travel, we have finally made it. I've got my stuff. I just thought I would get a ticket. I didn't think you guys would want to see that. So, ticket on the dash. One to receipt, or we'll keep hold of that. And let's go to Peeper Vape Lounge. Woo! Here it is. We've got Sean here. Yeah, we've got Sean. How you doing, mate? Right. And then we've got Dan, our flavor guy, Hello. who's also running this place. And then we've got Pete poking his head up down there. How you doing, mate? You right? Good, good. Getting there. So, this place is, uh, I've already got my stuff laid out. I've been taking some shots because this place is getting a refurb. But just look at it. You've got the vape bar this side. And then you've got the coffee this side. I love it. It looks amazing. So I can only imagine what the reef is gonna look like. So, that is the flagship store, it's Peter the Vape Lounge. Uh, it is currently going through a massive, massive refit. So, I want to show you guys what it looks like before, and then obviously what it looks like after. Um, I'm just enjoying my coffee. I absolutely love coming to this place. I was just saying to Sean and to Pete that it's so surreal. Because of your support and uh, how things are going this year, I get to do this as a job, and it's so, 
unbelievable. So I just want to thank you so much for the support. And every video we put out is, uh, you guys just love it. So thank you so much. But right now, I have to go and interview Sean in the corner of this lake lounge. I thought it was going to be at the labs, but it's not. So uh, I've brought my gear. I've got it all down here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I think this video is meant to be specifically for Phoenix and what they want to put out. But what I might do is put a little few snippets into this vlog once it's done. Just so you guys get a sneak peek of what it's going to be. And I'll leave a link to where you can watch it. But uh, yeah, this, this day has been amazing. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Um, I've been fairly new to vlogs, especially since I moved to vaping, so I hope you guys are interested and I cannot wait to show you our two and a half million pounds uh, e-liquid lab where we just manufacture and make all the e-liquids. You guys are going to be blown away, so I'm going to go interview Sean because uh, I'm getting some fun looks, so I'm going to go do that. Sean has been kind enough to take a seat with me before we get into our interview, which I will link in the description when it's done. I uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys a bit of insight as to what Sean does and what the plans were for 2020. So firstly, thank you for coming on the vlog, I really appreciate no it. No problem. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. What What is the main vision of Phoenix? What do you do specifically? Uh, okay, so I'm the technical director uh, of the company. So I look after the science, the safety, the chemical labs, uh, the production systems. Okay. Um, and I also look after the uh, the systematic side of Phoenix in terms of the SLPs, the, the systems, the finance, um, them sort of things. So pretty much does everything and pays my bills. So uh, very, I appreciate you sponsoring the video, getting me up here and give it, I was just saying to the, to the viewers late earlier on in the vlog that, you know, I just really appreciate that this has become part of my job now. Uh, it's such a surreal feeling because a lot of people watching or you know, you know other YouTubers, they, they strive to do that and you've managed to incorporate that into my normal day to day. Uh, and it's honestly, it's changed everything. Mindset, perspective, it's more content for you guys. Everyone's loving it, so I really want to say thank yeah, you. Yeah, and I mean, I, exactly the same. It's something we should have done. I mean, you were, to be, in fairness to yourself, you were shouting about this um, you know, over a year ago, which, and we were just too slow. Um, because I appreciate that. Especially, especially over the last uh, few weeks when we've been more sort of engaged, um, the value that I see in yourself, um, and I've watched a lot of your videos that are saying off camera. No, I appreciate um, that. Thank you. Uh, I think I think you've got you've got a good you've got a good thing there, and I I also appreciate the you know that we we're, we're able to do this because we've been weak on social media, especially on the science side. Um, uh, we just tend to keep our heads down, do the do the work. Yeah, and I think that's, um, that's we don't one shout thing about that um, a lot of people don't see as well. So obviously you've got a lot of uh, like the toxicology side of things. Um, you know that was your profession before coming across to vaping. Am I right? Uh, well, I was so more I was more a chemist. So I used to build chemical plants. Okay. Um, but there was a lot of health and safety, and a lot of it was hazardous waste. So it kind of gel because the the regulations kind of work in the same way okay and that was where the vision for eel science came because the companies that i work for were always trying to be ahead of the legislation okay so when something when something came out we sort of knew about it and we're like yeah we've already got it um and that was the same vision that we had um, when we built eel science Fair play. Um, and we were only able to build eel science because we opened the retail stores in phoenix which generated the revenue um, so it all works like synonymously. So it they work each other. So yeah, like I said, it's, it's one of those things where because you are focusing mainly on the science side, social media or retail front can slide at times. That's perfectly normal. But what one thing that a lot of customers, a lot of viewers have said is how much we're pushing this year and it's still so early in the year. Yeah. And honestly, I, I can't thank you enough and other people that work in this industry for, for putting us in a position where we can do this and it actually works with what you're doing for a day job. It's, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I mean, really the, as, as I was just saying, the, 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 the synergy, uh, I think I think that's what we missed earlier, yeah. that we didn't really see the vision, but 100% now I think this is, this is the way forward and we definitely need to get uh, the work that we've done out there into, oh, the, uh, into the industry as a whole. Um, I've been saying a lot on the podcast and you know wherever I can, because um, I've already made it clear to my viewers, I don't want to make it just a one big plug, but it is a passion of mine. It's, you know, even working for this company is a passion of mine. I always say about how safe our e-liquids are and how far ahead we've gone, but um, one thing that I'm really interested in is, can I get you on a podcast for an episode? And when? Um, yes, and 
within, I'd say I'd, I'd be free within the next few weeks. Oh, I guess that is exactly I what I'll make, I'll make the... I'll Honestly, make the our podcast is going to be incredible. There's going to be so much value in it, so much knowledge that people won't know of. And plus stuff I don't even know, which I'd like to hear from yourself because it's coming from the top down. Yeah. So, uh, no, I, I really, really appreciate you just taking some time out, coming on the vlog, and uh, we need to crack on the rest of the day. So uh, I need to go do your interview, and we need to show you guys the labs. And honestly, you're going to be blown away. It's, yeah. Am I right in saying it's two and a half million that we invested uh, in that? So it was around just under two and a half million overall. So that, that includes, though, about £800,000 within the toxicology. And the rest of it is basically labs. So there's a million and a bit in the labs, 800000 or so in the toxicology. Absolutely mad. I can't even fathom that amount of money ever. So uh, let's go take a look at it. So, the workers are in now, they're starting to do everything. A little time lapse is all I'm gonna give you in this video. As soon as it's done, I'll be back to show you guys the finished article. Um, as always, I love these guys, I love being up here. And now, it's time to go and show you the lab. And I cannot wait. So, I'm just gonna say goodbye to everyone. Uh, Dan's over there, and I'm gonna go with Sean. Show you guys the lab. Let's go. As always, man, appreciate it. Love the hospitality. See you later. Right, so we finally made it. I actually gave Sean a lift um, on the way. Had a nice little chat, spoke about a few things. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog, but now is the meat of the video. I'm gonna be showing you the lab, the inside, how it all works, break it down. I think Sean's gonna give us a guide and uh, kind of talk over a few things of you know, how we run things at Yale Science. So hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new with notifications turned on. But without further ado, let's get into the lab and uh, see what's going on. So, Sean's been kind enough to let us go through the labs, and I've seen this a few times, but I want to show you guys, because this is amazing. Over like, around two and a half million pounds, I think Sean was saying earlier, it was like 800K of investment. I've already made myself at home, hung up my jacket. I think, yeah, 800K of investment, and then the rest is lab stuff. So I'm going to show you how the bottling works and all that, all that sort of stuff. And these, this is where mainly a lot of the testing goes down. Um, but yeah, are you guys ready? Because this is awesome. Let's do this. I've had to get my uh, well, the Yale Science lab coat, so I'm here with Sean as well. Uh, I don't know if any of this is the right thing, so I'm actually going to speak to Sean about one of the machines, which they have like, is it four of them? Yeah. Four machines, which are just insane. So let's talk to Sean, he can run us through everything and why they have them, what they're used for. Okay, so yeah, this is this is the core of our laboratory. We've got a um, another one next door, which has got the uh, the emissions side of the lab, but this is the engine room where everything is analysed. Um, so we invested heavily with uh, primarily with Perk and Emma, who are world leaders in uh, GCMS technology. Um, so each of these instruments are the uh, GCMS, which stands for the Gas Chromatogram Mass Spectrometer. Um, this one in particular has got extra uh, detectors on, so we can identify different compounds. Um, the core function of the GCMS is that on the GC side, uh, this is where the compounds within a complex mixture such as e-liquid are separated out into their component parts. So what happens is the sample is injected through the injector, goes straight through there, goes through a column, which I can actually show you on this one. Uh, so it goes through a very, very narrow, um, I think it's a 60 meter column in that one. Uh, 60 meters and each individual compound separates itself out so that they come out at the end of the column one at a time. Um, and what happens when they come out at the end of the column is they then go into the detector, usually the mass spectrometer. Um, and the mass spectrometer smashes each compound apart into component fragments. Uh, and then the weight of each component fragment is then measured. And with some clever maths, it's recombined back to identify what the compound was. 
Uh, so what you can do with, once you've separated them out and you've identified the compound, you can work out the chemical composition of your actual e-liquid uh, with some chemistry as well. There's a lot of um, chemist brain power that goes into it. Um, but that in effect allows us to take any e-liquid um, and identify the chemical components within the e-liquid, which is a requirement for the, uh, the TPD, the Tobacco Products Directive. And then, especially with ourselves, we use that information to compare that to the toxicology. Uh, so we've invested heavily into a system where we develop health criteria values. Um, so each chemical that comes out, if it's one of the chemicals that's got a health criteria value, we make sure that it's below the threshold um, in order that we can release it into the market. If it's not below the threshold, it goes then into flavour development, we redevelop and it cycles itself it cycles itself around so currently we've got four of these um, this additional part here is um, a thermal desorber so this is used for emissions testing uh, to identify the individual um, chemicals within emissions because you're analyzing a gas rather than um, a liquid um, and then although we've got four right now through the TPD process uh, we actually had eight um, so we had to rent four uh, because we, we it was about a month or so before the, uh, or a couple of months before the deadline. We had so many people wanting to use the TPD services that we just didn't have enough capacity. Um, and as, as people will be aware in this industry, everybody kind of leaves things till the last minute, which we were kind of expecting, but not to the extent. So we had to get another four, which we, uh, Perkinoma kindly um, allowed us to rent, rent uh, an extra four, which allowed us to get a lot of the other companies through the TPD um, in time for the deadline. Um, so, this is, as I say, this is the this is the core engine room, and then um, what we've got here. This isn't the this isn't the mass spectrometer. This is a, um, a flame chromatogram, but you can see the individual peaks. Um, so this big one's going to be nicotine. Um, I don't know what flavour this is. Um, yeah, it's so these will be the flavour compounds. Um, you can actually zoom in, zoom in quite far um, on the FID. Um, but well, that's, that's an example of a chromatogram uh, that comes out and with the flame technology, it's basically the area under the peak is relative to the chemical concentration of standards and that sort of stuff. So that's a good example. I think at some point we'll do a, um, a video where we can show the, the technical analysis from the mass spec side, um, but it's a, bit more, it's a bit more in depth. So we'll probably do a uh, screen capture uh, uh, or something to, to demonstrate that. Hey, that's awesome. Thank you. So yeah, I have no idea. Like, Sean is has been doing this for most of his life, and having this like being able, the opportunity to come into this sort of lab and show you guys the sort of money and the technology that they're using to make sure we have the safest e-liquids on the market is just remarkable. And I don't think a lot of people realise what goes in behind the scenes. So doing stuff like this, I think is fascinating. I hope you guys are enjoying it. But uh, I believe, did you say the bottle machine's not working right now? No, or? it's not running at the minute. It's yeah, not running at the running, moment. Uh, cool. We're well, running labels, so we could, that's fine. we could show the bottle. Yeah, yeah, I'll show, not, show all the bottling uh, and things like that. I would really like to get some crisp beer roll, but actually bottling. But if it's not running, it's fine. I still want to show you guys, because as much as this is like worth so much money, there's still more. And it just blows my mind that so much work goes into this. But let's show you the bottling. I've actually been here for hours and I need to get my stuff from the uh, from the other, I need to get my jacket, come back and then leave because I've got to go home and I've had such an amazing day. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this vlog. That bottling machine will do anywhere between, I think it's one to 3,000 bottles an hour, which is mad. So I forgot to do like a sit down part for that. And I also forgot to get my stuff. So <sighs> been a good day. Been a good day. But yeah, I think they average it at around 2,000 bottles an hour, which is mad. Everyone's been so nice. I love coming head office and meeting people. And like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. 
I'm gonna go say goodbye to Sean. I've got some oh, exclusive stuff that's coming out with you guys very, very soon, which I can't wait to announce. I'll just go get my stuff, say goodbye, and I shall see you in a bit. Goodbye, people. I'm gonna let these hard workers carry on working hard. And I'm gonna go home. And thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for everything you said today and everything you've done. And uh, I can't wait for Expo. It's gonna be... It's going to be a mental weekend, uh, but I actually need to go home because it's getting dark and it's gone five o'clock, two hour drive. But yeah, that's not your concern. But thank you very much. I shall see you soon. Oh, what a drive, what a day. So I wanna say a massive thank you to EL Science and Phoenix for sponsoring the video. I'm so grateful that this is actually part of my job and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog as much as I did creating it. It's been a while since I've done a vlog, the first as a vaping style, but I am done for the day. Whoa, you wiped everything out. <clears throat> but I wanna know what you guys think about EL Science and all of the work that they're doing to show and prove that we have the safest and cleanest e-liquids on the market. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. I love talking to you guys and hearing what you guys have to say. But that is the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like. Remember to subscribe with notifications turned on if you haven't already. And if you wanna see the behind the scenes of how these videos are made and catch up on my day-to-day -day life, then make sure you follow my Instagram for my daily Instagram stories. And I shall see you guys at Expo or in the next video. Peace.